Okay, thank you everybody for uh, everyone who's watching this uh, episode of Hashtag Auto Talk. Um, we are joined today by Jason Green from Exclusive Auto Wholesale in Pelham, Alabama. Jason, thanks for joining us. Hey, John, thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're looking forward to, to getting some insight from you today. Um, we are going to talk uh, about tech and video in the sales process, how you use video um, and different technology um, in your day-to-day -day process. Um, you know, how has the, the industry evolved since you've been involved in it and uh, kind of where you see things going um, in the next, next few years. Um, so, but before we jump into that, why don't you give us a little bit of background? I've, we've been working together since, uh, I think September of last year. So I've yeah. seen you, um, you know, using video and stuff like that, but why don't you give us a little bit of background on yourself in the auto industry and, and, uh, exclusive auto as well. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I actually started out my sales career in real estate. I did new home sales. I really enjoyed it. Uh, kind of got tired of, uh, the uh the sundays and you know i got two little kids so uh i just kind of got a little burnout on it and uh but but really enjoyed it and was was successful in it learned a lot of things uh learned how to do a lot of things the right way mm -hmm. uh, learned how to do a lot of things the wrong way uh the sales process in in real estate is a lot like uh automotive sales or really any sales process is you know the the changes uh in the way people buy uh, are really a lot slower to be adopted, uh, you know, by the, the companies and the, and the, even the salespeople. But, uh, but yeah, yeah. I just lucked into the job. Uh, True Shields, our owner of our company, he started about five years ago and actually bought my first car that I ever bought with my own money uh, from him. Okay. And I just randomly, I, I got tired of real estate and I just, I said, Hey, this isn't for me. I'm going to take some time. It took about a month and a half, two months to figure out what I wanted to do next. Mm -hmm. I've always been a car guy, always loved fast cars, cool cars, any kind of car. If it had wheels, you know, I, I liked it. Uh, and I called him up and I said, Hey man, you need any Saturday help? You need somebody to just hammer the phones, old leads, dead leads, whatever you got, man, I'll do. He said, actually, man, I need a salesperson. And, uh, so I came to work for him uh, November, excuse me, February 17th of 2017. I sold nine cars the rest of that month. Oh. So I knew right then I was like, yeah, I think this is for me. And I just, yeah. now I love it. And uh, I love my customers. I love cars. I love talking about cars. I love, I love it all. So That's awesome. uh, it, it's a lot of fun, man. That's cool. So nine cars your first month. What do you, what do, where are you about now? Um, I average, uh, right around 30 a month. Awesome. So yeah, I mean, I try 30 is my minimum goal. I mean, I always 30 is kind of that mythical, mystical, magical yep. number, uh, you know, a car a day kind of thing. And, and that's really my goal, but uh, I really focus on the process. Um, and I'll give you an example. This month started out really slow. I'd sold about two and a half cars, I think on the ninth of this month. And most people would be kind of in panic mode and, and I'm not going to lie. I was, I was like, wow, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, but I ended up with 16 for this half. Wow. Uh, you know, so you just, I trust my process and video is a big part of that process. Um, and I just, you know, incorporated that into the things I was doing just to really kind of differentiate myself from what other consumers were seeing from other salespeople, try and build some rapport with them, try and build some, that's really what it's all about because the truth is, is, I mean, people just don't trust salespeople and uh, getting generic cam responses from left and right when you're shopping for cars. I've shopped for cars. I know you have too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's where you just get bombarded by these, you know, canned emails and, you know, you don't know who you're supposed to be talking to. Is it a BDC? Is it a salesperson or whatever? Yep. Um, and, you know, videos just really helped me to kind of, you know, add a little personal touch to it. But, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, it's just all a part of a process and, uh, you know, not really focusing on a number specifically, but it all kind of shakes out. Uh, if you have a good process that you trust up, down, left, right, uh, you know, you can just stay consistent emotionally, consistent uh, mentally, uh, which is really important in this business. Uh, Trying to avoid the ups and downs and, and trust me, I am an up and down uh, kind of guy. Uh, so that's a, that's a struggle for me, but it's uh, having a good process you can fall back on is what it's all about. That's awesome. So uh, tell me a little bit about exclusive auto wholesale. What's, um, what's kind of the environment like there? I, I was looking through the website and I was looking through the bios. Um, seems like there's some good personality and personalities there. 
um, yeah. seems almost competitive amongst you guys. Is that, is yeah. that correct? It is. Uh, you know, the great thing about it is, is we, we sell a lot of cars and we sell 125 to 150 cars a month and we have four salespeople, That's awesome. uh, you know, and we, uh, you know, we all hustle, we all work hard. 70% of what we do is, is probably, I would say probably about 65 to 70% is going to be internet leads. We spend a lot of money on, you know, different websites generating leads. Uh, and really it's about the people that sell the most are really the most effective at taking those leads quickly, getting in front of them, getting them the information they need, and then just moving along. But really, probably half of my customers that I've sold very high in cars to, I've never even laid eyes on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know them if they walked in. Really? So that's a little unique to what we do. We, uh, you know, we're in Pelham, Alabama. You'd have to Google it. Uh, middle of nowhere. I don't know if you can tell from the accent. Um, we are literally in the middle of nowhere. We're in a little warehouse district. And uh, we started off uh, wholesaling cars about five years ago. We had three or four cars out front. And uh, one of them was, uh, you know, a high-end car. And that's just kind of how we got into that. But, you know, we do Ferrari, Bentley, Lamborghini, Porsche, uh, Maserati. And that's kind of what we're known for. But, yep. you know, we like to do something for everybody. I mean, we have, we have 5,000 to 500,000. So, yep. uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's very competitive, but we all get along great. I mean, we're like family and I could be more blessed to work in a place where uh, we literally have all the tools. We have a great reputation. Uh, our boss takes great care of us. Our finance manager is just the best in the business, been doing it 40 years. Uh, and, and really the sales guys look out for each other. Uh, and, you know, we get busy, we get tied up on other things. And what's really cool about it is, is really the culture that we've built that, that other sales guys will say, hey, you know, he's busy. Let me get your information. I promise you, I'm going to get back, get him back in touch with you. He hasn't forgot about you. Uh, and, and you don't always hear those sort of conversations at, at a lot of, in any sales environment. Uh, so it's right, not take the call and, and yeah, take, it's, 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 customer from it's nice because it's not really a dog eat dog kind of thing, but, but yeah, we competition. it's a very healthy competition, but yeah, uh, but it's a lot of fun and it's, it's fun getting up and going to work every day. So that's, that's around awesome. a lot of cool cars and uh, get to meet just people from all over the country. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's kind of wild, yeah. but it's a lot of fun. So if you guys do a lot of high end and you have a lot of customers, not, you know, local to you, um, obviously technology is going to play a big role in your sales process. Like you said, your lead generation. Uh, so we're going to talk about video and authentic, of course, but just at, like what other sort of technologies um, do you guys use to build those relationships, maintain them and, and uh, help you guys sell? Yeah. I mean, we really pride ourselves on, if you look at our website, uh, you know, Ben Harvey, a guy that takes our pictures, he just really does a phenomenal job. And I think that's where it starts. Uh, we have a really, uh, really solid team that does that for us, that gets the stuff on the website fast, that gets the car stocked in quickly. And Ben just does an unreal job. I mean, I have people call and say, hey, I'm not interested in a car. I just want to let you know, uh, you know, I saw y'all's website. Y'all's pictures are in incredible. So having really high quality, you know, content online, uh, generating good leads, uh, also, you know, having a good reputation. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at our reviews. I mean, we really take it serious and we don't, uh, we don't do any review corralling, uh, things like that. I mean, if somebody wants to leave us a one star review, uh, we serve, uh, welcome that and address any issues publicly that we have. Um, and we strive really hard to look after that reputation. I think that's, that's the key because, you know, people, when they're shopping online, they can look at prices and they can look at all the features and benefits. And by the time they call us really, you have to have the mindset as a salesperson that they're ready to go. And, and, you know, the technology, especially like with you guys with video, that just takes it another level. Just, mm -hmm. that, Hey, like bang, we're ready to go. Here's the car. This is who I am. This is what we do. And it just, it really just jump starts that process and takes it so much further down, down the sales process uh, than if you weren't using any kind of technology. Yeah. So yeah, but as far as that, I mean, we keep it pretty basic. We just try and have high quality content, uh, you know, do a little bit of Facebook stuff, uh, yeah. try and do a lot of organic stuff, a lot of Instagram uh, they were getting into, uh, you know, the type of stuff we sell. Uh, it's, it's easier obviously to build an Instagram following or Twitter following, but uh, 
uh, you know, those are all things that regardless of what kind of product line you sell, if you find a way to make it interesting and make it interesting content, things that people want to see and hear, uh, they'll find you. I know uh, your bio on the website says that you are known as the review man. Uh, I think when I checked, I think you had a perfect dealer reader uh, score. Is that, is that still uh, intact? It, it still is. And I'm going to do everything I can to keep it intact. Um, <laughs> you know, reviews are one of those things that are important. I mean, they're so critically important to any individual salesperson's success. And dealer rater is really one of the technologies that we've added recently that I think really levels that up. It's so trusted. Um, and it just, when you we become a certified employee, I mean, they've have all these statistics that back up, you know, that people want to work with certain salespeople. They, they really want to have that face with the name before they show up. It just adds an unbelievable le level of comfort, not just blindly walking in and, you know, standing there in the lobby with that kind of deer in the headlights look, you know, hoping yeah. someone reach you that you feel comfortable with. So, uh, so that's been really good. I mean, uh, dealer writer is a, uh, uh, has been a definite uh, level up for us as far as technology goes. It's awesome. Um, so we talked a little bit before about video. I'd like to kind of take a further step into that. Um, tell me a little bit. I know you came on with Authentic in September of, uh, of last year. Um, so tell me a little bit about your video process. Were you using video before YouTube, anything like that? Or um, kind of walk me through your video process today how it's evolved and you know, how often you use it, stuff like that. Yeah. Well, one of the big things that kind of got me on video is we sell a certain product that we really are doing a lot of sight unseen deals and people really have to have a certain level of trust. Yep. Now, different customers have a different level of trust. Some, some customers are like, absolutely not. I'm going to fly in, put my hands on it, put you drive it, not taking your word for it. And I totally get that. Yep. Uh, I'm the kind of guy, I mean, I've bought so many cars side unseen. I'm like, Hey, look, if it, if it, if I get there and it looks even sort of like this, I'm okay with it. <laughs> um, so we were, I was doing a lot of video anyway, but one of the big frustrations was, you know, I would have to do the video on my phone. And then if, you know, I had an iPhone, if they had an Android, it wouldn't really go through. And then I'd have to email it and then it would be too big and yep. it wouldn't be formatted correctly. And, uh, actually late one night as a closet insomniac, I'm always just digging. Uh, and I, I found a, a blog. I don't remember which one it was now. Uh, and I found an advertisement for you guys and, and, you know, a little blog post yep. and I got to investigate in your company. I thought, Oh man, this is like, it's so easy. This is exactly what I want. And, uh, one of my favorite features though, is the, is the stop button. Mm -hmm. You know, we're doing a walk around video before, you know, I'd get in the car, I mean, the phone's banging around and, you know, you know, making you dizzy if you're watching the video, but being able to just really, you know, start that video, stop that video anytime I want going from the outside to the inside, it just adds a real personal feel mm -hmm. and, uh, and the way you guys present it. And, you know, anytime I've said, Hey John, I need, you know, a template that looks like this. Yep. It's like, bang, done, no problem. So, uh, so yeah, that's really kind of leveled that video game up. It, it was something that we were counting on before, but uh, it really, really kind of took it to another level when I started using Authentic. Um, but one of the big things with video that changed for me is when I first started using video, what I would do is I would kind of wait until the customer was like, hey, you know, uh, do you have any other pictures? Are there anything in the pictures that I can't see? And now what I do, just based on the research that I've read that, you know, customers are shopping multiple places, they're, they're putting in multiple in that now I don't even ask. And I would challenge anybody that's using video, just if you get a lead, an internet lead, don't even ask. Just go out there, send them a video. And when you start doing that, it blows customers' minds. Uh, they just, they're like, oh man, you know, thanks for the video. That's, that answered every question I have. And I cannot tell you how many cars I've sold just by being proactive and sending that video. Hey, this is Jay from Exclusive Auto. This is who I am. This is our showroom. This is what we do. This is the car. These are the little dents, dings, scrapes, scratches, bumps that you're going to see that you couldn't see in the pictures. Represent it accurately as possible. It's a used vehicle. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, and just really building that trust. And, and once you do that, uh, it, it, it makes it so easy. That's awesome. And it also right, helps you differentiate yourself from the other dealerships that they're shopping where they, they got 20 emails from five dealerships and, you know, all of a sudden they get this video of you, you know, introducing yourself, showing the vehicle, showing the dealership, uh, you know, being authentic, right? 
yeah. uh, goes a long way, a lot, lot further than an email can go. A hundred percent. You know, yeah. one of the big things that I noticed, cause I'm just, I'm one of those people I never try and stop learning. I'm always just insanely curious about the sales process and why people buy from me or even why they buy from other people or, or why people buy certain brands. I've just always been fascinated by that and just kind of been a student of that. One of the things I noticed in, when I started using video is right before I started, I would get these internet leads and I would say, Hey, yeah, I'd send them a text or I would, uh, uh, you know, give them a call, leave them a voicemail. Hey, this is Jason over exclusive auto. You know, you inquired about the whatever, mm -hmm. you know, give me a call back. Let me know. I can help whatever. Um, and I would get these text messages back probably five times a week. And they'd say, now, which car is yours? Right. <laughs> and I realized right then I'm like, man, they're shopping for so many different, you know, whatever mm -hmm. car that they don't even know which one's mine. Yep. So now just being proactive, I go out there and I say, Hey, this is the car that you inquired about on XYZ website. I even, you know, I try to include just, just so I can, people are so busy. You really want to just kind of ding that part of their mind where it says, Oh yeah, that was the blue one that I saw on car gurus or saw on auto trader, wherever. Um, just kind of feed that information back to them and video helps so much uh, because they, they are shopping for so many different cars. Uh, that it, they don't remember which blue Dodge Ram you have. They really don't. Right. As, as special as you think you are, they, they don't remember. That one. Right, exactly. Um, so, you know, I know that you, that you were successful before, you know, adding authentic and video, but have you seen any results? You know, are you, two more cars a month since I started doing more videos? Or, oh, man, I would yeah. say, uh, you know, I was averaging between 20, 22, 23 a month. Once I started adding video, I haven't had a month where I've sold less than 25. Well, wow. that's December. You know, I hear people say, oh, December is terrible because of Christmas. Then I yep. hear well, January is terrible because it's a new year. And March is terrible because of it. I mean, look, the deal is, is like I said, if you've got a good solid process yep. and you're in good technology and you're being proactive uh, and, and really with video, you can get creative. I mean, one of the things I've started doing recently is uh, that's been insanely powerful is price drops um, and having a good process in place. So I've got a little price drop video that I made up. Yep. So I'll look back through my CRM and I'll see who inquired on a car that was maybe 36, 997. And we've had it a little while now it's 32, 997. Mm -hmm. So I'll send them a little video like, Hey That's man, awesome. you know, say, you know, you're not gonna believe how much money you cost me by waiting, but Hey, here's <laughs> a deal. It's still available. You know, if you've already purchased, you know, let me know. I would love to congratulate you on that. If you haven't, let me know how we can make this happen. Uh -huh. And I, then I'll have people say, Hey, you know, I've already bought. So you know, then I'll send them a congratulations video. Yeah. Hey, 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 we missed you this time, but this is who I am. This is what we do. I'd love to catch you on the next one. It's really just keeping that funnel full and just really leveraging video. I mean, people, people have time to, uh, to watch a 15, 20, 30 second video like that. And, and I've, I've not received any negative feedback at all. Everything I've received has been overwhelmingly positive. That's awesome. Yeah. That's the good thing about video too, is at least with authentic, you know, you're hitting them on their phone with a text and an email um, where they may not answer the phone, but now that they get the text from you, they can watch the video when they have a couple minutes. Um, it's a lot kind of gives them, makes them, you know, comfortable, gives them a little bit of power. Um, and then they can, you know, follow up with you once, once sure. they get a chance to watch that. Um, it's, you know, like um, one of the things that I do is, is if you're uncomfortable with video, I would say, you know, I hear this from other people I work with and other, other salespeople is, hey, you know, I don't want to bug them and send them a video and they're going to think it's weird. I've sent them this unsolicited video. I say, look, you know, do like I did when I first started doing it. I just say, hey, listen, you know, leave them a voicemail and say, I'm going to send you a walk around video so that I can represent this vehicle as accurately as possible. Make sure it's something you're even interested in before you make a drop. Yep. So then it's more like something you're doing for them, not yep. something you're doing to them. Right. Uh, and I, I think that's, that really got me comfortable with sending videos to complete strangers really. Yeah. So, uh, what, what sort of like, uh, recommendations would you have for folks who are new to video want to get started, but eh, I'm a little camera shy. I don't like the way my voice sounds or, you know, whatever the case is, what kind of recommendations would you have for somebody um, kind of dipping their toes in the water with video? Well, uh, I'll say this, uh, nobody likes the way their voice sounds. Uh, I don't like the way my voice sounds. I'm not the best looking guy in the world. Uh, so I'm probably not going to win any beauty pageants. 
<laughs> but the truth is, is like we talked about, I mean, authentic, I mean, you guys couldn't have come up with a better name uh, for the technology and for your company because that's really what it's about. People don't care what you sound like. People don't care uh, what you look like. They, what they do care about is that you are authentic and that you come across as, as genuine as possible. If you're a really super polished person and that's who you are, mm -hmm. be that person. If you're like me, you're kind of a, you know, a redneck, uh, you know, just a country boy, just a regular old guy, uh, you know, uh, be that person. Uh, a lot of people I've noticed on video, they, they sort of struggle with, you know, saying the right thing and uh, having perfect grammar and, you know, all that. I just tell them, look, just talk to them like you're talking to a friend. It's going to come across genuine and authentic. And, uh, and that's going to translate to most people. Uh, right. Most people want to see who you really are. Because ultimately, that's who they're going to get. Uh, you know, you can try and fake it all you want, uh, but you're just going to end up stumbling over what you want to say. And and I can't tell you how many videos I've tried to be, you know, the you know the radio DJ announcer voice, <laughs> right. and then I stop. I'm like, man, this sounds terrible. This is so, me, right? so silly. But yeah, just be yourself. Mm -hmm. Talk to them like you would talk to anybody, and and that would be my best advice: is just be authentic. Be yourself. Just like, yeah, just yep. be. Yourself. Yeah, if you, hey, if you screw up, you take another one or, or, you know, joke about it with the customer, say, oh, you know, I messed up there. People, people like that. They like to see that they're dealing with a real human being. They, they do. Yeah. Um, just uh, kind of one last question here. If you were to look into your, you know, auto sales, crystal ball, you know, look ahead the next year or two, do you, what kind of like, you know, trends, what, what are you going to be doing to kind of stay ahead of, uh, ahead of the competition and also like sort of on top of, uh, the technology, consumer habits, stuff like that? For me, you know, I always want to learn what's out there and I'm always interested in, uh, you know, what other people are doing that are successful. I think the minute you think you have it licked, that's when you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people would say, hey, you know, you sell 25, 30 cars every month, month in, month out, you should be happy. Well, yep. I'm never satisfied with that because it, like I said, it's not really about a certain number. If I sold 12 cars uh, next month, I'd be disappointed in that, but I would also trust my process yep. that it would all come out in the wash. But, um, you know, one of the things I did when I first started in this business, and I would recommend this to anybody that's new or anybody that's kind of stuck in a rut is shop for a car. Yep. You know, I did this the other day. I, I sent out some inquiries on different cars uh, that I was interested in. And I really kind of took inventory of how they were doing it. The things I liked about what they were doing the things I didn't like about what they were doing. Um, a lot of dealers have really started to shorten the sales process because I believe that's what consumers want. They really mm -hmm. want, uh, they want quick, they want easy, yep. uh, they want transparency. Uh, it's not really about price anymore. We made it about price for so many years and decades that we sort of created that price monster. And if yeah. somebody calls you and says, you know, hey, what's your best price? And the reality is, is, they wouldn't be calling you from Nebraska on a Chrysler 200 if you didn't have the best price. Right. You know, they wouldn't be calling from five states over. So, right. uh, so it's really just knowing, knowing your customer, knowing uh, how they buy. And, and I would suggest that. I mean, shop some dealers, go around to showrooms, see what their process is, and just really pick out the things that make you feel comfortable, make you feel uncomfortable. Uh, the things you like, the kind of emails you're getting and, and, you know, use those ideas. Like, man, this is a, this is a great idea. This is cool. Mm -hmm. um, I was on a website the other day and they had an option to upload driver's license and insurance card before you actually got there, which mm -hmm. uh, I thought was great. I mean, that really does save in the F and I office a lot of time having all your documents ready. Uh, but yeah, just, just staying ahead of the curve, just seeing what the best of the best are doing because yep. Uh, if, especially if you're like us, if you're a small independent, uh, the best of the best are spending a lot of money yep. uh, to figure out how those consumers are going to buy. And, you know, nothing wrong with borrowing from that and seeing, seeing what those guys are doing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, very cool. Awesome advice. Great, uh, great content here from someone who's been doing it and been successful. Uh, so I think that our viewers are going to get a lot of, uh, a lot of value here, Jason. Uh, so I really, really appreciate you carving out some time for us. Um, Tell people kind of where, where can they follow you uh, on social? Give us a little, uh, a little plug for, for your dealership. If anyone's looking for something, uh, uh, give us the physical, social, everything. 
Yeah. For sure. Yeah, man. Uh, you can find our dealership uh, online. It's eawcars.net. Uh, you know, we ship cars nationwide. We can help anybody in any state. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. Uh, uh, you can find us on Instagram uh, at Exclusive Auto Wholesale. Uh, you can find me at Exotic Car Guy. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. We'd love to connect with anybody. Uh, love to share any information that if anybody new, old, uh, in the business, doesn't matter. If you got any questions, drop me a DM, send me an email, uh, just whatever I can do to help. I, I love helping other people kind of level their game up. And, uh, and you know, I think video is definitely a big part of it. So if you're not using video, you need to be. Appreciate it. This has been awesome, Jason. Thank you so much. This has been another episode of Hashtag Auto Chat.